Hi, this is a short video presentation of a work about time optimal control of cranes subject to container height constraints. This is a poster by me, Philippe Barbosa, and my supervisor, Yuan Lovepei. So here we have a ship to shore crane and we want to load or unload the container ship as fast as possible. In other words, we want to move the payload or the container in minimum time. And when doing that, the collision with other container stacks should be avoided. And that's the challenge of this problem. Uh, in this work, we use a trick, which is uh, a variable change in an optimal control problem. And the outcome of this trick is that what were previously non-convex constraints now become uh, linear bound constraints. And the benefit that we have of doing it is that we no longer need any functional representation of the height of the container stacks. We reformulate the problem using spatial derivatives instead of temporal derivatives, as in equation 4. Now, the derivatives of the dynamic equations are with respect to the payload position in the horizontal axis. Then, a new state vector is defined. Note that time is now a state variable. If we were using the cost function as in equation 4, which would be the natural way of doing this, we would have convergence problems, since the payload has zero velocity in the initial and the final position. To circumvent this, we use the first state variable, that is now time, as the cost function. Then, we obtain this new formulation as in the blue box here. Now, comparing the container avoidance constraints in the original formulation with the new formulation after the trick, we have that in the original formulation, after time discretization, the minimum height for the payload in a certain time instant depended on a function representing the container profile. And this function was generally discontinuous, nonlinear, and non convex. But now, after the trick, the spatial discretization leads to linear upper bound constraints for the height of the payload. Now, we only need the function values for the function s, and this can be computed when setting up the numerical model. Here, in this picture, we can see what happens uh, with representation of the container stacks when we use the spatial derivatives. So, we can see the function values of s at each discretization interval. So each one of them has the value of the stack height at that discretization interval. So to illustrate and validate the idea, a small scale scenario of stack configuration was simulated. So here we have these stacks of containers. And in green, we can see the payload trajectory going from the position 0 to the position 1, avoiding uh, the collision with these uh, stacks. And uh, below, we can see the control inputs. In blue, uh, it is the force applied to hoist the payload. And in magenta, it is the force applied to the trolley. For future work, we are going to investigate the energy consumption of the system after the coordinate change. Then we are going to formulate the optimal control problem uh, for uh, minimum time and energy optimal solutions. We are going to apply this method in closed loop and we are going to go beyond the point mass assumption for the payload. Also, we are going to introduce more physical and geometric constraints to the setup. Thanks for watching.